Yep, nice. Ugh. That is not good. Will do. Okay. Okay, guys, it's not funny. Really not funny, guys. Tossing grenade. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? How did you not see them from there? Alright, enjoy your rest. Thanks again for the raid. That's affirmative.
Rockets away. I've got something over here. They're flanking my Damn position. It. The enemy is still alive. Moving to position. Okay. Usando el gancho. What was that? Pick up the pace. down moving to position that 
That's affirmative. That's affirmative. Rolling. Looks this sharp, is unlike up. anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise. Guys, please. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. <laughs> Reflecting attacks. Position confirmed. Heading to that location. Перехожу в режим призрака. Да, сэр. down. Moving to position. there now. Shot failed to connect. Hey, Marta.
The target is still standing. Ясно. This is unlike anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Okay, and suddenly I lost... visibility into that room. The enemy is flanking. The guy flanked. He's in my... I'm... I'm fine. The situation is under control. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the Hologlobe. One. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Aye, aye, Commander. Boy. I am already there. I am moving. Four. 
Heading out. No need to ask twice. Headed there now. Enemy troops! They are positioning to flank us. Frag out! Headed there now. Okay. Target's still up. Move on you. Что за хрень? Hey, Tech Nine. Welcome back. Close, but not good enough. your rest. I missed the target. Yes, yes you did. Heading out. That's Kill nice to hear. Terraria was was pretty great actually. Um, we made both a lot more and a lot less progress than I was uh, than I had planned, which is kind of weird to say. But we killed all three of the mechanical bosses and Queen Slime a bunch of times. Yeah. Oh, and Pudding star uh, has started to build a proper house for us, which I'm really looking forward to. Already there. <laughs> Actually, not as much as as I was honestly expecting. Moving. That's affirmative. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Reloading weapons. Moving to position. Oh, 
right, no problem. Attempting to retreat. That's an interesting strategy. Where would she list? He's just running away. A la orden, comandante. Open fire. to that location. Скоростью смерти. Бегом! Пора рисовать звездочки.
On the move. I'll keep this one down. successfully completed. Missions like that are sure to boost everyone's confidence. Well done, Commander. Transmission. Excellent work, Commander. This Council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope... Current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial... Remember, we will be watching. It's clear that the alien device will not respond to attempts at physical interaction. However, if we can find a soldier with strong enough psionic abilities, we may be able to activate it. Pursuit. Approaching target now.
Yeah, okay. The upgraded ships with the EMP cannons are just completely broken. But it also turns Touching out down. I do actually need to train at least one Scion Brazilian soldier. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Hostile targets at the crash site. Double time. Si, sí, senor. Understood. Moving out. Ten four. Move order confirmed. Eliminated. Yes, ma'am. Moving to position. Not a problem anymore. Score. Moving to position. Estoy en marcha. Y ya va a ser pues Affirmative, Commander. Moving to designated position. Orders confirmed. On the move. Supply complete. Me dirijo allí. Y as no va a Hey, ¿slúsit ya? Weapons hot. Vigilad, los blancos se mueven. Adjusting aim. Heading to that location.
Threat pacified. A ello voy. Position confirmed. Target confirmed. On our way. Contact. Sir. I'll move like the wind. Ten four. A toda leche. Is this cannon so damn inaccurate? No contact with target. No te muevas, te pondrás bien. That's affirmative. Allá voy. 
Yes, sir. Headed there now. Steal him. Quiet. Do you hear something? Will do. Ready to engage. Solid copy, Commander. That's affirmative. Target eliminated. Let's do this. Be good. Yes, do it. Moving out. Understood. Moving out. Affirmative, Commander. Rearming weapons. Affirmativo. Hay algo ahí fuera. Voy. Tropas enemigas. Is it just me that, or did that just sound like tin cans when it fell down into the ground? I'm on the move. Right. For a second there was gonna be more. Uh, for a second I thought there was gonna be more. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down there. Excellent. 
excavation complete. We've got an incoming transmission, Commander. Guess who? Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Touching down. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Uh, you know, I... The council believes Dr. Marizuki's actually research to said... be extremely valuable. They're requesting we escort him safely to the evac point. Big Sky will be in position to make the pickup at the other end of the facility. Objective updated. I actually said I was gonna get myself something to eat around 12 hours. Well, that was one hour ago. Hmm, escort mission. We love escort missions. My efforts here have been focused on studying the alien flight paths in the hopes of determining exactly where it is they came from. Miss. Yep. Negative uh. damage on target. Yeah, I'll get something to eat eventually. Orders confirmed. On the move. Heading out. Movimiento nos flanquean. Vaya. Afirmativo. Again. Vaya. I had no idea this guy was in fucking Overwatch. Affirmative.
From what I've observed so far, it's clear the aliens have developed a propulsion system that allows for faster than light travel. Так точно. Поправка на ветер. Location confirmed. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. You think? They got me flanked! They have identified me! I find myself wondering how far these creatures have traveled to undertake this invasion. The resources involved are Stop staggering. Talking. Ah, Molako! Heading there now. Just received some intel that hostiles are advancing on your location. Ready up. Soldado. Moving to designated position. Headed there now.
Слушаюсь. On my way. Paso ligero. Rolling out. Orders confirmed. On the move. Eyes peeled, Strike One. Opposition is headed towards you. Repeat. Hostiles approaching your position. There's still a Target disabled. Need to reload. Thank you for coming to my aid. That's an escort mission done. Our troops are making it look easy out there. Let's hope they don't get too cocky. <laughs> it's a bit late for that, don't you think? Oh hey! Our Lord of Boobs hit a hundred kills. We will be in touch, Commander. Generator online. Um. I appreciate your efforts to support the research oh. team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. We can now submit our soldiers for testing within the Psy Lab. Once we have a complete report, I'll notify you with the results. Our current research implies a strong link between a candidate's willpower and their psionic potential. We're hoping that one or more of our existing soldiers will meet the necessary requirements. The willpower, 92, 98. Spitfire is over 100. I'm gonna test Spitfire and... We may be onto something, come on. Ever since mankind first looked up at the stars, we have wondered what lies beyond. So very few have dared to look in it. of the human mind hold more secrets than we can possibly imagine. How ironic that the means to defeat our enemy comes not through weapons or machines of war, but from within. And if we have succeeded, we will have gained a glimpse of what we are to become. We will have created something extraordinary. Real magic.
Wait, so... Oh yeah? And what are those options? And for who anyway? <laughs> for yourself? Enemy is padlocked. Closing on target. Well, I can't even touch it. It's nice, so what are the options? If you want to tell me. Prepare for deployment strike. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Well, personally, I'd always go for the PC first. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. As you wish. Houston, we have liftoff. Обо всем позабочусь. Got it. Jetpack on deck. That's affirmative. Location confirmed. Heading to that location. Time to motor. I see.
How was that shot blocked? Affirmative, Commander. Take care of it. Going in for the kill. On the move. Moving on target location. Yeah, I don't really know how streaming okay. directly from console works, to be honest. I am ready to go. Headed there now. It seems very basic, doesn't it? <sighs> Shot failed to connect. I'm on the move. confirmed move 
clean out. Well, yeah, then that's even weirder. If the very limited options don't even help you adjust anything. I think that's the first time mind control failed on anybody. On my way. Okay. It's been secured. Moving to position. Already there. Пора пробежаться. Вас понял. Можно начинать. I'll move like the wind. Moving out. Ten four. On the move. For the kill. Stepping off. Jetpack on deck. Solid copy, Commander. Zaitiela. I'm on my way. Reloading weapons. Target confirmed.
Кажется, мы здесь не одни. Выхожу. Ten four. On my way. Orders confirmed. On the move. Roger, Dodger. Confirmed. <laughs> nice one. голоса Понял. Moving on target location. Moving to designated position. Position confirmed. Aye, aye, Commander. I'm on the move. It. 
Roger that. Ясно. On the move. Enemy target in range. I'll get him next time. This is the target. Outstanding. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. on the bandit. Nearing strike range. <sighs> These constant UFO attack missions are actually strike kind of one. getting annoying. Prepare. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike One is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike One is clear to attempt the breach. Enemy troops! Toasty. 
did. Ignition. Moving on target location. Roger that. Ten four. Stepping off. Got something over here. Six. Rolling down. Rolling out. Heading to that location. Trick fucking pony. Moving. Smatre za flangami. Going in for the kill. I'm on it, Commander. Smatre, I pass the alien object in sight. Yeah. 
Why don't you sit this round? Крутятся кады! Хотят с фланга обойти! On the move. Они двигаются! Card. How much lamer can these things get? I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. Yuki is actually psychic. Oh yeah. Far Cry 5 the ending is to prepare these soldiers for the yeah. changes, permanent changes that they will experience. These advancements could completely change the course of scientific progress. A new, untouched field of study just waiting for able minds. Mark it in the history books. This is the end of an era for mankind. Even in the right hands, this suit could be the most dangerous thing we've ever developed. We've done it, Commander. Dr. Valen is confident that this soldier has the power to interact with the alien device. I recommend we get started immediately. This is it. Once our volunteer enters the chamber, then... With each of our major victories, we have encountered incrementally more powerful aliens. After the first alien craft was shot down, they began a campaign of terror. The alien forces were led by a sectoid commander, a powerful psionic creature. Upon capturing the hyperwave beacon, we detected a cloaked no, ship... No, I have the beacon yet. Having captured the device it sacrificed itself to protect, an immense alien ship has now appeared within our atmosphere. We can only assume that a being of even greater psionic power is on board this vessel. We have already pushed human evolution so far, and I fear where the next step will take us. But our enemy leaves us with no other choice. A new type of weapon is required.
All right, final mission. Why do you not have your fancy armor? Вижу противника. Confirm. I mean, I Closing guess it could happen. Position now. A la orden, comandante. Emotional damage. Heading there now. Enemy troops. Yes. Yeah. 
Fire. Nice shots, chosen one. Sight. <laughs> yeah, I can't miss the ending to this, right? No need to ask twice. It's killing time. Я в пути. Я снова в строю. Boy. On my way. Rolling out. I'm on it, Commander. Да 
Target neutralized. Cleared. A curious or not? Endeavor, the search for the gift in the most unsavory of beings. They were little more than insects when their uplift began, and in their fate became the most dangerous of predators, incapable of direction and understanding. They were infinite only. Daser. Moving on target location. Enseguida. Я уже там. Moving to firing position. С 
Stepping off. Hostile spotted. They're trying to flank us! Out of the game. Estoy en marcha. Commander. Enemy spotted. Now, the new one confronts a greater threat. A rare strength. And yet, they are incapable of brilliance, of independence. They will never be more primitive warriors. Serving only to fight and die. As did those who came before On the move. Going. Со скоростью смерти. За дело. I'm on the move. Enemies in sight. I do enjoy that combo. <laughs> Luring the Berserkers into the close combat specialist. He's down. I'm on the move. on target. 
no es una amenaza. Alright. Ready to engage. Another encounter cleared. We should be getting close to the end, I think. Boy. Deja de quejarte, nenaza. Reloading weapons. Get back on deck. I'm rolling. Moving. Reloaded. Two of them? Seriously? I'm gonna take down two of them at the same time. Location confirmed. Twenty-two damage around there, just for free, every turn, or like forty-four damage, since there's two of them. Moving out. And again. No indication that th this thing was in fire. Overwatch. I wonder, does that move get cancelled when I is? It does not, because he isn't forced to move for some reason.
going. Я пошел. Andando. This is so fucking stupid. Moving to position. Why does it get Overwatch after doing 22 damage for free? Once again, why doesn't he have a shot? Touching down. One HP. One fucking HP.
What? I don't need that right now, seriously. Didn't it say earlier that... No, no, I'd have to... Stun a drone. Moving out. Get that. Te pondrás bien. Weapon systems ready. I'm on the move. Reloaded. Aye, aye, Commander. Я пошел.
That's affirmative. Oh, yes, last room. Roger Dodger. Okay. Oh, do I shut that? That's affirmative. On the move. No need to ask twice. Eyes on target. Who thought that was a good idea? I really want to know. Going in for the kill. Let's do this. The heart draws to a close. It was not a vain undertaking, but necessity, as our physical form has grown ineffective. Our search for the perfect specimen was driven by our own crippling imitation. And now, as a long pass. Fuck off! Leave my people alone! Summon your own shit! Two of them! Sure! Just control a third of my team, why don't you? No! Why the- No! Why the fuck did it change target? Fuck off! Huh! 
I don't think a jar is gonna be enough. Watch the flanks, they're moving. Snipers are broken when they do what you tell them to do. Last minute, the game is gonna fucking crash. Uh. Uh. This game really doesn't want me to beat it, does it? Gonna have to drag it kicking and screaming to the finish line. Time, shall we? Cover my flank. This is not your path, not your purpose. You need our guidance, slowness, power. Without us, what are you? There we go. What the hell is happening? The ship itself is behaving like a dying star, becoming a black hole. At this distance, the Earth will be consumed.
Oof. Did it seriously crash again? <laughs> oh, you guys actually still have a picture. My screen is completely black. <sighs> okay. Well, heal DR. Yuki sac sacrificed herself to save the world. But also, fun fact. Um, the canon ending of XCOM Enemy Unknown is humanity losing, actually. Since in XCOM 2, the aliens have basically complete control over the world. I tried. I guess the game just kind of wanted to uphold the canon ending. <laughs> Something like that. I guess I could eat something. Oh. Jeez. But yeah, have you guys... Um, do you guys watch uh, The Operations Room? The YouTube channel. That's a good sign. sort of all right I'm gonna leave you with this and I'm gonna make myself something to eat real quick I'll be right back This video is sponsored by Enlisted, a free-to-play World War II multiplayer shooter. Enlisted has a deep focus on historical authenticity, with exciting and dynamic gameplay, large-scale combat involving dozens of other players, accurate World War II weapons and vehicles, and historical campaigns. I really enjoyed the squads feature, commanding a team on the battleground, coordinating armoured support, and with engineers constructing fighting positions, while laying down a fusillade on the enemy with my Lee Enfield 303 rifle. 
Join me in Enlisted for free on PC, Xbox Series X and X, PS5, as well as Xbox One and PS4, by following my link to get the game as well as a free exclusive bonus. At 5.20am local time on December 16th, 1944, the quiet stillness of the Ardennes Forest is shattered by the thunder of heavy guns. Across the densely wooded area stretching across Luxembourg and Belgium, German artillery has opened a massive barrage, while V-1 buzz bombs scream overhead towards the cities of Liège and Brussels. German gunners set their fuses to explode in the treetops, showering their targets with wooden splinters. The Führer's orders are that infantry are to attack first, to force breakthroughs so the panzer divisions can advance on the Meuse with their strength intact. The American infantrymen caught in this onslaught are bewildered. Their officers have assured them that the enemy is beaten, and that this is a calm section of the front. Forward outposts report coming under heavy ground attack. The Battle of the Bulge has begun. This attack is born out of desperation. The German army has been in steady retreat across the Western Front for six months since the Allies landed in Normandy. Now the battered Wehrmacht has been pushed all the way to the Reich's border. On the Eastern Front, the Red Army stands on the banks of the Vistula River, less than 350 miles from Berlin. Germany is being squeezed on both sides, and it is only a matter of time before the war is lost. The Fuhrer plans one last major offensive to defeat his enemies. In 1940, the German leader oversaw Case Yellow, which saw German armor sweep through the Ardennes and cut off the combined Anglo-French army at the port of Dunkirk. The Fuhrer believes the success of this daring operation can be replicated. In September of 1944, the Fuhrer orders preparations for a major offensive through the Ardennes aimed at the strategically vital port of Antwerp. He outlines another armored thrust that will smash the American units in the Ardennes, cross the Meuse River, dash to Antwerp, and trap the British and Canadian armies in a massive pocket. He believes this will force the Allied leaders to the negotiating table and allow him to turn his full attention to the Eastern Front. The Fuhrer's plan is ambitious and risky. He is counting on poor winter weather to hamper the overwhelming Allied air power. Three German armies of about 400,000 men in 30 divisions will attack on a 37-mile wide front. These troops represent Germany's last strategic reserves, and a rapid pace of advance has been demanded of them. The spearhead of the advance will be the 5th and 6th Panzer armies, whose powerful armoured formations must cross the Meuse in two days and capture Antwerp in four. His generals do not believe this is possible, but German High Command agrees that the outcome of the war rests on this operation, and it must be attempted, no matter the costs. In the north, the 6th Panzer Army, led by General Sepp Dietrich, has the shortest route to the Meuse, and has been given 60% of the armour for the operation. At the tip of the spear is Kampfgruber Piper, a powerful SS Panzer unit led by Obersturmbannführer Joachim Piper, and comprised of grizzled veterans of the Eastern Front. Piper's route has been personally chosen by the Führer, and his men are expected to be the first German formation across the Meuse. In the centre, 5th Panzer Army, under the command of General Hasso von Manterfel, must take the towns of St. Viet and Bastogne, two critical road junctions that are of paramount importance to the German advance. Their paved roads will allow the armour of the Panzer Lair, 2nd Panzer and 116th Panzer Divisions to race towards the Meuse with great haste. The southern shoulder is assigned less importance, with General Erich Brandenburger's 7th Army relegated to protecting the flank of the advance. When the attack begins in the north, a platoon of 18 men and 4 artillery observers under the command of Lieutenant Lyle Buch Jr. are holding the strategically important village of Lanzarath, along with a section of tank destroyers. The Germans must take this town before the tanks of Kampfgruber Piper can get moving towards the Meuse. When the German barrage opens, Buch's men dive into their foxholes, while the tank destroyers retreat past them without warning. Bemused, an infantryman remarks, they might at least wave goodbye. Buch's men soon spot a full regiment of German Fallschirmjäger paratroopers, marching up the hill toward them in a twin column. They lie in ambush when just as the platoon is about to open fire, 
a little girl runs up to the German soldiers and betrays the American position. The paratroopers die to the ground and a firefight breaks out. Despite losing the chance for an ambush, Lieutenant Buch's men fend off multiple attacks from the Falschenjägers. He constantly calls for artillery support on the radio, only to be told that fire missions are needed elsewhere, as the observers disbelieve what Buch is seeing. Fed up after being rejected again, he responds, God damn it, don't tell me what I don't see, I have 2020 vision. Bring down all the artillery you've got on the road south of Lanzarath. The whole goddamn German army is coming down the road. His artillery support never comes. Nonetheless, his tiny force continues to hold their position against wave after wave of German attacks. Facing the German formations are a hodgepodge of American units. In the north, the inexperienced 99th and 106th Infantry Divisions have not seen serious combat before and have been placed in the Ardennes to gain gradual experience. To their south, the 4th and 28th Infantry Divisions are battle-hardened formations that are deployed to this quiet sector of the front to recover from the terrible losses they suffered in the Battle of the Hurtgen Forest. They are part of General Troy Middleton's 8th Corps, which is spread thinly across the front. The 2nd Infantry Division, along with elements of the 9th Armoured Division, are also in the region. The Western Allies have made critical mistakes in their preparation, and intelligence has failed to detect the imminent offensive. However, it is complacency that will cost the Allies the most. A sense of victory fever has infected Allied High Command, a belief that the Third Reich is on the verge of collapse and no longer capable of offering resistance. When 12th Army Group Commander General Omar Bradley is informed about increased German activity in the Ardennes, he dismisses the warning, stating, let them come. As it turns out, it will be Bradley's troops who will soon bear the brunt of the fighting. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Buch's men continue to stand their ground against a force which outnumbers them 22 to 1. However, as night falls, the German paratroopers manage to flank Buch's position through the forest to their rear. Despite being enveloped, Buch's men continue to resist until they run out of ammunition and are captured. Incredibly, his 22 men have held up a regiment of over 500 paratroopers for an entire day and have inflicted 96 casualties at a cost of just one man dead and several wounded. However, their most important achievement is delaying the advance of the entire 1st SS Panzer Division Leibstandarte along with Kampfgruppe Piper. They will later be awarded the Presidential Unit Citation, the only platoon to receive this honour in the Second World War. In the centre, the 5th Panzer Army attacks without an artillery barrage, catching the 106th and 28th Infantry Divisions completely by surprise. The commanding officer of the 106th Division, I did General actually find Alan something w. decent Jones, to eat, loses contact with his forward units almost immediately. Jones can only sit helplessly at his headquarters in Saint Vite as his division struggles with the German onslaught. In Versailles, Supreme Allied Commander Dwight Eisenhower is celebrating his promotion to General of the Army with General Bradley when he's interrupted by news of the attack. Bradley believes this is a small action to spoil General George Patton's advance in Lorraine, but Eisenhower's gut tells him that the situation is more serious than it is being portrayed. Communications from the front are terrible, and local commanders are unable to determine the scope of the German attack. Faced with a critical decision, Eisenhower acts quickly and orders Patton to halt his attack while sending reinforcements from across the Western Front to the Ardennes. His intuition proves to be correct. By the afternoon, Allied Command understands that a major offensive is underway. By the evening of December the 16th, the German offensive is close to breaking through the American lines in several places, but unexpectedly, tenacious resistance is upsetting the timetable for advance. The Führer's insistence on the infantry forcing breakthroughs for the Panzers is proving to be a mistake. In many places, the infantry lack the firepower to press home the attacks. To aid the ground assault, Colonel Friedrich von der Heiter, whose men had fought Easy Company of the 101st Airborne at Carentan, has been ordered to paradrop 1,300 Fallschirmjägers behind American lines to capture vital crossroads and disrupt American supply. The operation I think it was been 44, the night right? of the 15th of December, Not 45. and then rescheduled for midnight on the 17th. The drops are a complete disaster because of windy conditions along with inexperienced soldiers and pilots. 
Some transports never drop and return to base while others drop their paratroopers in German territory. Von der Heite only manages to rally 300 mostly combat ineffective men once the drops are finished. The 285th Field Artillery Observation Battalion of the American 7th Armoured Division is one of the many formations that have been ordered into the Ardennes by Eisenhower. They arrive on the northern shoulder of the German attack, the morning of the second day of the battle. Hey Ophelia, how are you doing? As the convoy of trucks approaches the town of Bonnier, south of Malmedy, they pass Belgian civilians who frantically point down the road and shout, Bosch, Bosch. The unsuspecting GIs merely wave back, not understanding what the locals are saying. When the convoy reaches the Bonnier crossroads, they run straight into Panther tanks and SS Panzer Grenadiers. The Panthers destroy the first and last trucks in the convoy, trapping the formation in place. The Americans are raked with gunfire, Doing pretty good, and men I think, out of their trucks and for the fact that I'm now almost this is live the for 15 of hours. Of Piper, which has finally broken through and advanced rapidly throughout the morning. Having been delayed for so long the previous day, Piper is in a vicious mood and orders his men to be harsh in their advance. They have already shot dozens of civilians and unarmed prisoners throughout the day, having become accustomed to the practice during their time on the Eastern Front. The Panzer Grenadiers make quick work of the doomed 285th Battalion and round up over 130 American prisoners. The SS soldiers herd the prisoners into a field and rob them of their belongings. Once Piper's men are satisfied with their loot, they open fire with machine guns. 84 American prisoners are killed in the massacre, but some survivors manage to escape and make their way back to friendly lines to report the atrocity. Although the mass killing takes place yeah, at Bonnier, it's the it will become the longest stream the I've massacre. done so far. However, news of the massacre fills the American like, fighting far, in the Ardennes. I think the second rage, longest is like not fear. close to 11 US hours, units, maybe? Which are already offering tenacious resistance now fight with a fanatical determination to avoid being taken prisoner. In San Vite, General Jones of the 106th Division receives the chilling news that two of his forward regiments have been cut off by the German advance. Later that afternoon at 2.30pm, Jones hears small arms fire and can see for himself the tanks of the 116th Panzer Division approaching the town. He also receives reports that enemy armour is six miles behind his lines. Nonetheless, Jones' shattered division along with elements of the 7th Armoured and other retreating units form a scratch team to defend saint -Viet in a horseshoe shape. They must deny the Germans the critical road junction as long as possible. Further to the south, Major General Norman Cota's 28th and, yeah, Infantry Division I guess history stuff is always interesting to watch. Cota has already distinguished himself in the war when he personally led the breakout from Omaha Beach on D-Day. But his understrength division is a shadow of its former self when it was the first American unit to parade through the streets. No, I'm of actually feeling parents. pretty good. I was just yes. a bit Cota's hungry, so I just to offer made myself resistance. something to eat. A platoon of American infantry are holding the village of Holtstham to the east of Cota's headquarters in the strategic town of Viltz when they spot German tanks approaching their position. Despite having two bazookas, only their commanding sergeant knows how to operate the anti tank weapon. The bazooka must usually be operated by a two-man team, but there is no time to train the other men how to use it. He must hope that there are no faults in the electrical wiring which would render the weapon useless. The sergeant grabs a bazooka and sets out to hunt the tanks, hoping to catch them in the vulnerable rear of the vehicle. He instead rounds the first corner and comes face to face with the leading Panzer IV. Well, the massive vehicle stops and takes aim. But the sergeant Chicken fires the and shots veggies that fails to in penetrate the tank's frontal armor soup? and ducks behind a sort of cream sauce. The Panzer rather. obliterates the building with its 75mm gun. Some rice. Unharmed and nothing, undeterred, nothing too the sergeant runs to the second story of an adjacent house and fires two more ineffective bazooka rounds into the side armor. The bazooka was designed to penetrate 3 inch armor, but the armored side skirts on the upgraded Panzer IVs are deflecting the shape charges. The weapon is out of its element in this fight. Finally, his fourth shot damages Superior the turret German and the tank retreats along skirts. with the rest of the Panzer IVs. Despite its ineffectiveness in armour penetration, the bazooka's convenient loading mechanism allowed the sergeant to fire off four rounds in less than a minute. Little do the Americans in Holtzham know that they are the only unit between the leading elements of the Panzerlehr division and Cota's headquarters in Vilts. 
Wiltz will hold out for another two days, further frustrating the German advance. Despite these acts of heroism, the 28th Infantry Division is essentially destroyed by the end of the second day of the offensive. Although they have been massively delayed, the 5th Panzer Army has finally broken through in the centre and the road to Bastogne is open. The 2nd Panzer and Panzer Lehr Divisions race towards the strategic crossroads with little resistance in their way. In the north, Kampfgruppe Piper is spearheading the 6th Panzer Army's advance towards the Meuse, with American units trying to regroup on the Elsenborn Ridge. Eisenhower recognises this, and now moves every available unit to the front. Exhausted former drivers of the now defunct Red Ball Express, the truck supply system halted in November, are ordered to abandon their new assignments and instead drive to every Allied assembly area to pick up units. The 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions have been resting and refitting in Rennes, when both divisions are alerted to the developing crisis. While the 82nd has had more time to replenish its ranks after tough fighting in Operation Market Garden, the 101st is short of everything. The division is under strength, has reduced stocks of ammo, and no winter clothing. General Maxwell Taylor, commanding officer of the 101st, isn't even in the country, and temporary command has been passed to Brigadier General Anthony McAuliffe. Regardless, they are ordered onto trucks which set off for the Ardennes. The 82nd Airborne will be sent to the northern shoulder to hold the Elsenborn Ridge, while the 101st will be deployed to Bastogne in the centre. Among these are the men of Easy Company, 2nd Battalion, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment. They are you know, now you a can actually um, lay through the Battle of the Bulge towards the Ardennes to on the, the American country. side in Company of Heroes 2. The turnaround of so many men and material to the Bulge is one of the greatest logistical achievements of the Second World War. In Paris, Ernest Hemingway, the famous author-turned-war correspondent, is recovering from bronchitis when he hears news of the German attack. He is determined to rejoin his unit, the 4th Infantry Division, which is now engaged in desperate fighting on the southern shoulder of the enemy advance. Amid scenes of chaos in the Ritz Hotel with American military police ordering officers and men to return to their units, Hemingway's brother Lester finds him in his hotel room packing a Thompson submachine gun along with ammunition. Hemingway explains to his brother, There's been a complete breakthrough, this thing could cost us the works. Their armour is pouring in, they're taking no prisoners. Load those clips and wipe every cartridge clean. Join me in Enlisted for free on PC, Xbox X and S. That's and gonna PS5. be a lot of studying for Follow you. Follow my link to get the game as well as an exclusive bonus. This video is sponsored by Established Titles, a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds, or lords and ladies in English. With their title packs, yeah, definitely. you can buy as little as one square foot of land in Edelston yeah. in Scotland, what are you so you can call me yourself for? a lord or lady on credit Didn't cards even do and plane tickets. While you won't be a real noble or able to sit in the House of Lords, more importantly, Established Titles will work with charities One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to plant a tree with every order. Once you receive your unique plot number, you can officially change your name to Lord or Lady. You will be calling me Lord! <laughs> Title packs make a great last minute gift and couples packs come with adjoining plots of land. I'm told that the first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will be placed nearby didn't to my plot. didn't even take that long. It was like We could build our own operations room, tops. or even better, a pub. Established like titles is running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Waiting for Plus, my food if you to use the code the operations room, you can get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com forward slash the operations room to get your gifts now and help support the channel and global tree planting charities. At 6.45am on the morning of December the 18th, 1944, the third day of the Battle of the Bulge, soldiers of the 2nd Infantry Division spot German armour approaching their position on the Elsenborn Ridge. The 600 men of the 1st Battalion of the 9th Infantry Regiment are under the command of Lieutenant Colonel William D. McKinley, the grand-nephew of the American President with whom he shares a name. He has been tasked with defending the twin villages of Rocherath Krinkelt at all costs. 1st Battalion's yeah, objective is so. to buy time for a new defensive line to be constructed behind them. I mean, 
Germany is pretty the only right, units I guess. that can stop the German 12th SS Panzer Division from breaking through and cutting off Still the entire 2nd of Infantry but Division. The ensuing battle so rages for countries. hours. The American <laughs> the infantrymen USA. are outnumbered 2 to 1, but they have a significant advantage in artillery. The Elsenborn Ridge dominates the entire Ardennes region and provides a natural platform for American heavy guns. The Germans quickly learn how formidable this position is as they advance on Rocherath Grinkelt. In one 20 minute fire mission, 348 artillery pieces fire 5,760 rounds in support of the defenders at the Twin Villages. These guns can reach anywhere on the entire northern shoulder and must be neutralised by the Germans. 1st Battalion holds off the first attacks with help from tank destroyers and artillery support, but their defensive lines are gradually overwhelmed one by one. German Panthers and Panzer IVs score hits on the few M10 tank destroyers and breach the outer defences. I the mean, Panzers it's going to be a pretty short list. The Panzers battalion's trenches and iron them in, collapsing the trench walls and trapping the defenders under snow and dirt. American anti-tank gun crews fire back with their 57mm guns, but find that their rounds are bouncing off the enemy tanks. The fighting gets so desperate that McKinley's forward units call in artillery fire on their own positions as they are overrun by the German attackers. Finally, McKinley receives orders to withdraw to the new defensive line, but by this time the enemy is so close that he is unable to extricate his men from the fight. The front line has been broken, and SS troops are starting to pour towards the village. Just as the entire battalion is about to be overwhelmed, four Sherman tanks from the 741st Tank Battalion appear like cavalry riding to the rescue. The Shermans surprise the SS division and quickly knock out three panzers. The enemy attack yeah, finally falters, and Lieutenant Colonel McKinley's <laughs> men kind of are true. able to retreat in good order after the timely arrival of the American we armor. We have some pretty decent... A skeleton crew of American infantry now holds the twin... ...views and such. Move myself over again. Right, so, um, now that we have I guess theoretically finished up um, XCOM. Do you guys want to start right into, X into XCOM 2 or should I try playing Cyberpunk for a bit? It's now completely up to you. I have both games installed. I mean, yeah, I guess the hype died down pretty quickly after after the release. Oh yeah, 
I guess I can take the collab commands out for now. Trust nobody, not even yourself. as well try it. I don't understand how every game has to be so freaking loud. I don't think the life path is gonna be that important. I have played Street Kid on my on my first uh, solo playthrough. 
Yeah, I guess so. I've started a corporal, corporal playthrough that didn't really seem fun to me. So I'm gonna go with Nomad this time. My mouse feels laggy for some reason. Jeez. Rotating with Q and E. That's weird. Well, yeah, there is a set campaign, just a few dialogue choices are going to be different, depending on your life path thing. seeing the stream frame rate absolutely go on this shit. I don't know if it's if it's gonna be better. After I start. But I guess we're just gonna have to see. Sort of, yes. I don't think I could ever go for like full body tattoos like this. I'm way too sensitive for pain for that.
Yeah. I mean, I, I do have a few scars as well, and I have absolutely no fucking clue where they came from. Electric coupling module. Said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad while she's hugging the border. Yeah, okay, never mind then. And the game's already struggling right there. I don't even gonna gonna try. It's not worth my time. Well, I'm, gl I'm glad you at least liked what I came up with, though I didn't really put that, mon that much thought into it. So loud again! Why is everything so fucking loud? It's ridiculous. Because yes, yeah, pretty much. Uh, game capture. Scum two. Play through tutorial that will reduce the speed of your and I will start with lengthy scheme. Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Way too many times. With the accelerated timeline you placed upon us, mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please. There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? One of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider, report. This 
so, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Way too loud. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise yeah. to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Christ. Double time! Moving out! First things first. You need to get out of sight. Grab some cover near that low wall. Yeah, uh, I haven't actually played any of the half life games either. It's so much smoother. In position, but I'm exposed here. It's better than nothing. But see if you can't find a safer position further out. Yeah. Actually, the uh, the cannon ending of the first game. Stay close. Keep pace with Crasher One. The cannon ending of the first game is that humanity actually lost, and the aliens position. took over. Basically, we're gonna have to go through them. Stay out of sight until we're ready to strike. Copy that. <laughs> Keep to the shadows until you're absolutely set. We'll only get one shot at this. In the shadows. And yeah, one of the best things I find about 
this game, you start in concealment, so you can actually get the drop on enemies. Stay in low. Don't get too close. They'll be spotted for sure, and we'll lose our advantage. but we've got surprise on our side. Hopefully that's enough. Remind me to thank the old man. You and me both. We're not out of the woods yet. We need yeah, to take out much. those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on them. Permission to engage. Do it. Crasher one is on the board. They can see you now. How about you all shoot first and celebrate later? No problem. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. You're still keeping score, right? Going out, Betty. Dun, dun, dun. No, Crasher Two is down. She's gone. Damn it! You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to play it. Okay. <laughs> Press the advantage before they get around you. Let's see how you like this. The cloak. Central, reporting in. You're late. What have you been doing down there? Taking in the sights. What the hell are these things? They're us. At least they used to be. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Thank you. Let's move. Looks like that transmission went through. You have an advent transport closing on your position. You heard her. Cover the left side. I'm on it. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. The main entrance is clear. We need to move on the package. Menace 3, you're up. Hold up. You should check that body for salvageable gear. We need anything we can get at this point. Better move fast, though. I've heard rumors Advent rigs their stuff to self-destruct. Enemies just, just hit the ground. enemies don't just drop from the sky anymore, which is also now nice. I in the right place. Well 
done. Fall back to our position. Just go. I'll try to stall him here. should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Really, yeah, access panel. Let's get out of here. The entire advent security grid just lit up. Firebrand is holding nearby for evac, but it's now or never, Central. Understood. We're on the move. Oh my God. Ah! Bum, bum, bum. No! Central! Crasher 1 is down. You have to get out of there. We need another exit! Now! Got it covered. for me. Almost there. Stay focused. They're right behind us. Way too close. This is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Keep moving. You don't need to tell me twice. We're coming home. No, it's not. Wish we had more time. I don't disagree. 
But as it stands now, we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately. We are ready. Good. Then let's get on with it. Remarkable. Just like 20 years ago. We were still calling it a war back then. Yep. Response from the cerebral cortex. That was 20 years ago, in Ready game at least. Intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection, preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Yikes. No, big yikes. Response normal, vital stabilizing, procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Yeah. So we're actually canonically the same character as in the first game. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... Uh... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Hell yeah. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power. Yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology. Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here. As well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. Commander, 
Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. We're off to a good start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Yep. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander. Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid <laughs> magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. That is kind of one... Ah, oh, jeez, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to... with resistance forces in the area have gone dark. It can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. Wait, what failed? Commander, getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. That's affirmative. Already there. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we can always yeah. try again. I mean, we're gonna have to. Okay, you should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. Location confirmed. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Moving out. Hostile forces spotted.
Maybe my cat, my cat wants to play. Moving to Overwatch. Okay. Copy. Moving on target. Roger. I got my eyes on. See you, Ugh, yikes. German. Disgusting. Oh, perfect. Ach, komm schon! Wir sind aufgeflogen! These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. Not good. Three of the first four shots have missed. That's a good sign. I'm playing on fucking normal game! Ugh. So fucking sick of this shit. I'm all over it. Eyes on the prize. There we go. Hostile target down. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. See if that failed. Im Schlepp. Stepping off. Watch the Although flag. they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. Stepping 
Seems doable. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. In the right situation, they can prove highly effective. I'm in. We got the gear. Well done. Readings are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chance. Eliminate all remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Finally! Uh. I'll get him next time! Werfe Granate! accomplished there you go even now our enemy lurks in the shadows plotting to destroy all we have been a few of our people earned well-deserved promotions commander I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you too Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Operating some of our most advanced equipment, specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. Why are you all just standing around? Perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. 
might not look it. But from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. I'd suggest we get started with a med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. I'm on it, Commander. Looks like Tygen has made progress on his research. We should meet him in the lab. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, so basically, there is still some most if not all of the first game is just bears a, striking a simulation a in the canon. I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. New objective added. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Looks like... Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. Advent, wherever we find them, we can help strengthen the resistance. In return, they'll contribute material and personnel to support our operations. Commander, it looks like Shen prepped a med kit for us. We should equip one of our soldiers with it before they deploy. Let's see, let's fix that attitude of yours. Thank you.
Much better. The VIP is with me. Making it too easy for me. Customize, quick info, attitude. The squad is ready to deploy on your order, Commander. I mean, even if your life was a simulation, I don't think it would be much different from Recon what it is now. Recon indicates an advent data vault holding files critical to their latest operation was stolen by the resistance in this area. Unfortunately, the aliens were quick to reclaim oh, the she's site, perfect. wiping out everyone <laughs> they came across in the process. This is an opportunity to disrupt their project that we can't pass up. Neutralize all hostile forces in the area. Secure the site and recover the assets. Menace 1-5, we've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. These two are working together like a well-oiled machine. As long as we keep them close to each other in the field, They'll reap various tactical benefits as their bond continues to grow. Orders confirmed. Moving out. On my way. Heading there now. Oh, jeez. Rolling. Roger that. Heading out. Moving to position. Hostiles making the rounds. That's affirmative. Moving on target location. Affirmative cover. Covering now.
On the move. Advent forces on the ground. It's worth it. position. Terminated. Asset in tow. I can't get a frag over there, sadly. Moving to designated position. Thanks, Tech Knight. Get 
Dennis 1-5, status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Hostile target status down. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Oh, almost perfect. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result... Jeez. Executed to the highest standards. Excellent work, Commander. help, we can start clearing out the old equipment and debris from the ship to make room for new facilities. To clear out these rooms, first we'll need to assign an engineer to the task. Once we start getting into the far reaches of the ship, it's going to take more time and manpower to make space for new facilities. Looks good to me. Just give the word and we'll get started, Commander. Excavation is underway, Commander, but it's going to take some time to get all that stuff cleared out. Commander, we have a secure transmission coming through. Source unknown. Patching it through to your quarters. Hello, Commander. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all hey, sworn yep. loyalty always to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the resistance from the inside. It was these resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. Looks like we better get started, Commander. I'll be on the bridge when you're ready. The Councilman has tracked the alien black site to this region. Unfortunately, we don't have its exact coordinates yet. If we're going to have any chance of finding this facility, yeah, we need to bit make of a weird coincidence the that it cell nearby. showed Tigan up in China first. About how we might reach out to them without getting the alien's attention, but we'll need to give him time to conduct his research. We shouldn't wait too long on that, Commander. We have to start making contact with other regions soon if we're going to build a global resistance and take on Advent. New objective added. Looks like you won't have time for that just yet, though. Remote reconnaissance may have found something not far from our current position. Avenger plotting new course. Ah, yes, that is so much closer. Commander, while we're waiting for new missions or the completion of our research, we can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start our scans of the surrounding area. This will prove to be an important step forward. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research. So much so, that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Uh, I think the first was over the GTS. Yes. Go start work on the new facility right away, Commander. I'll send word when it's up and running. You 
are too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk out. Actually think they might show up. Commander, that was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Mm. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice, quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. I can use Hell a favor yeah. if you've got the manpower to spare. We're all in this together, right? Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. All available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. Well, actually, the ceasefire is gonna last a relatively long time in this case.
deployed. Menace, ready to deploy. The Reapers and Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting point strictly need to know. You'll split into two... Reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. <laughs> presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. I mean, I guess it... They sort of... His Death squads wiped Work out like cockroaches. of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure but hands well. are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Damaged and dormant all these years. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Yeah. Those things are disgusting. Headed there now. No more time for regrets. We are not alone. Those things. They still look like people. What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the alien survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. These creatures' true strength lies in their numbers. As you can see, they fall easily. If we are careful with our shots, we will prevail. Nice one. I can't let that happen again. What's over there? Wait, it wasn't Agent Orange some sort of virus thing? Big deal. Happy now? Alright, I'll go. These things really do act like cockroaches. DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. 
wonder why anyone would subject themselves to that. Not imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Death to the invaders. I have little ammo remaining. We are compromised. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, uh, Uncle Zarian. Welcome in. <sighs> yeah, the Reapers are pretty useful as scout units, I guess. encountered these beings before. At first, they may appear mindless, but they hear quite well. In great numbers, they can be very deadly. No longer a threat. Weapons burn and ammo fast. Yes, that's sort of the point of a minigun. I need to reload. No one will mourn them. Who can give me a resupply? I go where I am needed. I'm going. Ready to rock! An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. As you order, Commander. I must reload. I hope it's worth it. Gun covered! These creatures are worse even than Advent. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. If we do not defeat the aliens soon, we will become little more than they are. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it your pet advent in time. Return to your gods. No compromises. My ammunition is nearly depleted. Your friends will join me. I have no more rounds. Loading fresh ammo. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I got one. Okay, six for six. Happy now. It's killing time. Is it clear? We risk all this for Praetel Mox? If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him myself. Looking forward to this meeting already. Hostile neutralized. Enemies down. Biological readings in your general area are clear. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. Central. Biological signatures are grouping into a singular mass. One close. You should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there.
Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Contact! Get down! They have a bigger problem here. Hey, sir, bunny. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crunk thought. Advent. Hobbit. Vox Tala. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk. The lost. Meeting point is still secure. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, we must go. Rendezvous with Outrider is further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. No trespassers. Move, move, move! Getting it done. seeing these things before you were not meant to purifiers were created with a singular purpose to contain the drop 10 the lost we must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive Mind by me. take them down you weren't kidding when you said those tanks could explode careful with these things we don't need to take any unnecessary chances That's a pretty big boom for such a small tank. Um, let's see. A ten baton. No one escapes. Do you think he's gonna ex gonna explode? Really? Overwatch. Of course you missed. Excuse me. Moving out. Oh, he didn't explode. Enemies the down. patrol has been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. Patrol. It's an army. Yes, 
One we do not have time to face. Everyone, get back! That's a big boom. Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. An apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility, with a corresponding increase in aggression. I'm on the move. 50-50? No? Negative damage! I go. The shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the law. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that exit. Too bad. Heading out. Understood. Moving out. Let's do this. I am reloading. I am watching. I will not fail. The whole area is hotter than we thought. Gonna need a little more time. Understood. Holding position. Hmm. Come on, focus! That was less than ideal. Roger that. 64. Hell yeah. Target down. 61. Hell yeah. I must reload. It is the readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even Mox more. Mox really doesn't do a very good here. job with you the Overwatch shots, you does he? Your minute. They will fight no more. I have little ammo remaining. Their journey ends here. No ammo. Must reload now. I will watch. Moving to position. Moving to moving to Overwatch. He has missed every single Overwatch shot so far. That's actually kind of impressive. That should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. That will not be a problem. I'm on it. Target neutralized. I'm out of firepower over here. <laughs> yeah. Ready to go. I'm not gonna talk about Overwatch. Heading there now. 
enemy destroyed. I'm running low on ammo. It's killing time. As you command. Do not evade detection. I have failed. Okay. This is actually getting kind of interesting. That's like, I think, five shots now in Overwatch that he just missed Target eliminated. in a row. Even close to where I clicked. Team should be waiting for you ahead. I know this wasn't the easiest stop, but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end. That depends on the Reapers. Directly ahead. Let's try and play nice today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. <laughs> Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. is the biggest problem in the War of the Chosen campaign. My, kind. Butcher of free my people face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Reapers face a being such as this. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout the universe. I am not one of their instruments. Okay. My life is in your hands. On the move! Good copy. Moving on target. Good copy. Moving on target. I am at your service. I'm on it. Moving to position. I'm going. Head down. There's something out there. Shit. 
And I will end this quickly. There will be no escape. Volk says I am to obey. I will wait in cover. Moving to position. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Maintaining position. To that position. Defensive posture. I hope it's worth it. Standing fast. Movement! It's close! I didn't come here to die! Consider yourself lucky. Most would not survive such a strike. Human captives are most eager to trade their secrets for even the hollowest of promises to extend their pitiful lives. It looks like the Chosen knocked one of our soldiers into a daze. We need to get someone over there to help them get back on their feet before that thing can move in and attack. Humans do share an admirable sense of loyalty, even in the face of certain death. Volk says I am to obey. Give him a heal. Roger that. Throwing grenade! I had not expected this conflict to be so exhilarating. You surprised me, XCOM. Still. The Elder's will is that none survive this day. I cannot leave that to fortune. The sonic dispersal waves emitting from that pod are crisscrossing a massive area. <laughs> Meaning that thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An accurate assessment. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this position. Then let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand's en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. I go. Their service is over. We deny our creation. My weapon is almost depleted. 
My huh? failure is my own. Uh, is that? There you go. Big deal. Hey, three for three. Happy now? Very nice. What's over there? Let's rock. Initial analysis of these creatures' movement patterns reveals an almost coordinated attack strategy. Perhaps they are not the mindless automatons they initially appeared to be. An intriguing, if not horrific, possibility. A ten batal. Reinitializing weapon. All right, I'll go. Affirmative. Moving out. Heading out. Confirmed. Is it clear? I'm on the move. How many of these creatures can still be in this city? Advent has been sending purifier squads into these cities for years, yet somehow the lost survive, even thrive. We do not know why. We can no longer hide. On your order. I swear that reveal thing for the Reapers is never ever 50% on the move moving on target location feels more like 80 20 or something hostile neutralized heading to that location i advance rolling out move 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 Oh jeez. I did not exist when this city stood whole. Man, what I wouldn't Still, give for Bladestorm right now. At what happened to this place, to these people. I believe you. Hostiles pacified. Target neutralized. Running dry. No longer a threat. My weapon's spent. I'm ready. Enemy down. Okay. A long run. On Overwatch. That's a long run. Heading out. I'm on it. I'm going. On Overwatch. A day when my people take back this place for our own. If they are all like you, that is a light possibility. Nailed him! I'm running low on ammo! Head into that location! Yes, Commander. Here. The 
Life has left me. Soon to be out of ammunition. I am the victim. I have no ammo. I am reloading. I hope it's worth it. One down, thousands to go. As you order, Commander. Death to the invaders. I have little ammo remaining. I will go. Moving to position. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to designated position. Target eliminated. Well, broke down the door with a sword swing. Why not? Like wall, I didn't door. Hostile target down. Target neutralized. Detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are on to our strategy. It is the elders' will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere lost for that to the entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? This is as low as I can get her! No! I do not intend to die this day. I will follow. Time to return home, traitor. No. Bum, bum, bum. He's not coming home with us. no easy task, but we managed to get the Reapers and the Skirmishers to cooperate for once. That in itself is an accomplishment. We may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. The resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. They will adapt to follow your choices, Commander. executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Your soldiers should never allow themselves to be captured in battle. Their dishonor will only be compounded by their suffering. We should talk to our friends with the Resistance. If we deploy on a covert action... Three of us 
called upon together. Something has changed. On that, we are agreed. The battlefield has shifted. Our masters have need of us once more. Sounds to me like they're afraid. You dare defile this place with your wretched tongue? Oh, I dare. Sadly, that infighting doesn't really go anywhere. We are disappointed. Thought you were the strongest. You have walked among the humans for too long. You have been corrupted. You have been reclaimed. Yet perhaps you may also. We've just made contact with a new faction of the resistance huh. known as the Reapers. Well, They're yeah. Good bunch, luck at the work. But this is there their is. headquarters. We can scan at this location now to start benefiting from our newfound cooperation. So this is the commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. Trust me, that does not happen often. You are all welcome here. I will admit I had some concerns with this alliance of yours, but from what I hear, this skirmisher... Mox was captured protecting one of my own. Reapers have long memories, Commander. We will honor our end of the deal. Volk, out. Your tenacity could prove your undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skills. Of course. Oh well, yeah, we'll see about that having fun part. Uh. Setting course for the South African sector. School now operational. The squad size immediately very nice. Alrighty, Tanker. Good night. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction. Commander. Now that members of the Resistance factions have joined us on the Avenger, I thought you might want an area where you can meet to organize and plan future operations together. Hello, Commander. Work is well underway, but it will be some time yet before my research is complete. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high 
high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. The Chosen are a tough group to infiltrate, but we've managed to gather intel on their latest actions. And have a rough idea of how close each is to reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. Commander, the factions have pledged their support to XCOM, and they're ready to carry out your orders. As our influence with these groups increases, our capabilities will grow in kind. If you've got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Ooh. I'm gonna go with excavation speed Commander, for now. We'll need to send our own soldiers out to work with the resistance factions to complete these covert actions. They'll be gone for a few days, but this will help us build influence with the resistance while generating material support. This operation is going to require some field experience, Commander. We'll need to send one of our vets to lead the effort. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly... Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, no, Dead no. Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive system. signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of oh, the no. old And I just sent away two of my events. Under our stewardship, our <laughs> cities prosper. Our people flourish, yeah, absolutely and our awful world timing. heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple crumble. radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. Your signal's breaking up. Outlying territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. Get your people out of there! And with your cooperation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace. Stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy. Yeah. Yeah. Commander, we have a squad ready to move on the resistance haven currently under siege by the aliens. Give the word and we'll move out. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. So we have... Okay, you. Chill out, please. I don't need that. I have specialist to in theory. Oh jeez. I said, yeah, I'm still alive. Just over 17 hours now.
Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. But I am kind of trying to go as long as I can. At least today. I don't know how long I can stream next week, so I'm kind of... Yeah. One of our contacts in the resistance says Advent peacekeepers have been spotted conducting a sweep near an outpost in this area. <laughs> the aliens won't hesitate to kill anyone they find, so we're heading in to protect as many people as we can. Secure the camp and eliminate all hostile forces. <laughs> Menace one five. I don't, I don't hostile like forces these are missions. attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Would be nice if it, if it was only five hours left. On my way. It would seem Advent has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Shot failed to connect! Nice that it hit. I could have used the. Could have used the kill. I'm going. Crap. <laughs> well, I can try to get some decent sleep. Position confirmed. Get out of here. Can't even reach him with a with the frag. What's over there? Last chance. He goes into stasis. I completely forgot. Warning! Yikes. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. No. Yeah, don't even think about it. I had enough trouble with that in the first game. I've got eyes on an advent position. 
position. Come on, guys. Come on, focus. Stop missing, please. This is for you. What's going on? Confirmed. You're good to go. Move. Ah! And what's in there? Um. there now got some advent here bombs away I hope it's worth it. You're kidding me. How is everything missing? It was a 70% shots, not 20 or something. Ah, they got me! 
<laughs> yeah, and he hits me in return, of course. I guess so. <laughs> now watch this 20% shot hit. <laughs> okay, so I got one. <sighs> okay, so the lower the number, the higher the chance that I'm actually gonna hit it. Good to know. Status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Loyal citizens, I come to you with a heavy heart. Advent outreach forces were ambushed earlier today while spreading their message of unity and hope to the outer set and the propaganda is strong in this one We've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact, but we'll have to make the first move. Avenger plotting new course. our research in remarkable time, Commander. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. I think this is the earliest I've ever had these, ra uh, these magnetic guns. Like we're barely in the second month. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Hello, Commander. <laughs> I don't even have enough engineers or alloys to build all of them. I've Jeez. had a chance to take a closer look at some of the Advent weapons recovered. Avenger plotting new course. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Of our research, we made a startling breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue of study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, we must do so immediately. 
or I fear we will lose our opportunity to return to it in the future. I will make that our highest priority. 50% off on a infirmary. It's gonna be very useful. Setting course for the South African sector. Look at you. Hey, Azarok. Yeah, that's it is slightly modded, yes. But nothing too serious, I believe. Uh, specialist. Do we have a specialist? Yeah. Don't think I am, no. Check it out later. We've been picking up unusual readings coming from this area, and our recon team has confirmed that Advent is now operating some sort of massive psionic transmitter nearby. No, I don't think so. Tigan agree. If we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to Advent's network, their operations across this entire region could be crippled. Advent has constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. I'll be there soon. An alien patrol found our objective. Begebe mich zum Ziel. Ah, oh, yikes. Go, go, go! Okay. 
Solid copy. Okay, there we go. I go where you tell me. That patrol is coming. Good to go. Interesting. German language is already pissing me off. Wait, does, does this not have a restart mission button I seem to remember the first game had something like that feeding energy directly into their network if you can destroy it it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter time to motor bin schon dabei Go, go, go. My watch begins. unterwegs. Advent-Einheiten gesichtet. Oh. 
Greife auf System zu. Ready for a surprise. Done. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. I am trusting you. My training fails me. We are known to them. now my life is in your hands closing on target position now What's over there? On Overwatch! Reloading. Habitat. I will go. To the field. Ziel localisiert. That's a confirmed visual on the transmitter. Plant the X-4 charges before they can cut it off from the network.
I'm at your service. I can't let that happen again. We are compromised. Bin dabei. position. Any other contacts? Get those charges deployed. Bin schon dabei. I'm on it. Understood. Moving out. Ready to rock. I'm on the move. I'm reloading. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. That transmitter is history. Good work, Commander. Hell yeah. For your safety, all travel between city centers has been suspended until the recent power system upgrades have been completed. Please see your... As long as there is even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. I say it's time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. Avenger plotting new course. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. We just got some new intel on the Chosen. Pretty soon, we'll be able to take them down permanently. You're starting to win over my people, Commander. And that says something. Things are going so well, it sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. Thank you. 
The factions you have contacted are well equipped to track down the Chosen. Their knowledge will be invaluable in helping XCOM locate and eliminate these threats. The benefits we gain from working with the Resistance factions on their covert operations are a major boon to our efforts, but there are also risks involved. Our soldiers could potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field, so it's not as easy a decision as it may seem. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. can keep up. Commander, we have a priority. Hello, Commander. It would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. The cooperation of these Market is extremists open. will do little to unite the forces of your resistance, Commander. Avenger plotting new course. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. The Sector's rapid physical evolution over the past 20 years is a testament to both the aliens' mastery of genetic engineering and their pursuit of advancement, regardless of the risks. I'm actually not sure which is worse. The original Sector or these bigger ones. I will begin our research immediately. The... Commander.
Commander, one of our people was taken captive during the most recent operation. We're doing everything we can to locate them to ensure their safe return. Commander, Mox has been captured. We should do everything we can to get him back before the Chosen do God knows what to him. Resistance in an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces Story guarding the site hard. first. Welcome. Commander, if we're gonna win this war, we need How to take doing? every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which require special planning and preparation. Setting course for South Africa. About the same, yeah. I mean, I've been live for almost 18 hours now. So I'm probably gonna call it after this mission. Yep, 18. <laughs> I kind of wanted to try and see how long it could go for. Sky Ranger in position to drop. up an alien transmission. They're trying to move an advent troop transport the resistance disabled during a recent skirmish. There's an opportunity here for us to pull some of their technology off the transport, but we'll need to secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles to make that happen. Menace 1-5, the advent troop transport is nearby. Engage oh, it's pretty good actually, if forces. you'd like um, turn-based turn strategy. I forgot to change your voice. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Affirmative, moving out. I'm all over it. Double time. Though, though if you are um, looking to see if you like it, um, this is slightly modded for some quality of life stuff and outfits mostly. DNA, these creatures once operating under the guise of Fen Men now show their true form, a purely reptilian species. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. My 
life is in your hands. Okay. Okay, so I got one. What's over there? Moving to designated coordinates. I will go. Yeah, I guess. I didn't like Wasteland 3 myself all that much, but I do think this one is quite well, relatively polished, but you do have I'm going. a lot of moments where RG is gonna screw you over royally. But I guess it's just kind of part of the XCOM experience. Volk says I am to obey. Their clumsy patrol is moving. Yep. The hit chance is probably I'm one of the you. most annoying things in this game. <laughs> So that's about the standard reaction, just disappointed sighing. Who did they? Hmm. We sind in Bewegung. Moving. 
one down. Thousands to go. Death to the invaders. Now we fight in the open. Target the table. Weapons <laughs> burning ammo fast. That didn't go quite as planned, but I guess it's good enough. Those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Show no tavics. Sixty percent. Let's see. Hey. Comes in Ordnung. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Moving out. There's an alien patrol nearby. requires patience. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay. <laughs> I... Oh yeah, actually there was a flamethrower guy next to the inside uh, even now set of a chain reaction i didn't even expect to shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built to return us to the chaos of the old as long as there's even one reaper left standing you can bet they're still in the fight Finger on the trigger. I have to check on... Real quick, we have 
I, it would be nice if I could at least like you know uh, check I the probably abilities wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father he was uh, something of a miracle worker getting the Avengers power back online was a miracle I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't he gave everything he had to get the ship running but he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. The Chosen, known as the Assassin, seems to mirror the traits of the nobler warrior archetypes we know throughout our own history. Oh, Having well. witnessed, and more importantly, heard the unusual commentary delivered by this Assassin, I cannot help but wonder the... I guess I've been live for long enough. <laughs> uh, I should know when it's time to quit. <sighs> oh, let's see. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure having you here as well. <laughs> and thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, it is kind of sad because I did have the last two weeks off work, so I could kind of stream whenever whenever I wanted to. But from next week on, I'm not really sure when I'm gonna be able to stream again. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> Hey Doctor, thanks for that, Pats. Mm, let's see... I'm gonna send you to Cell, actually. It's been a while since, since we raided her. <laughs> yeah, Doctor. I mean, in, in theory, I could go even longer, but I'm, ju I'm just gonna have to call it quits here. I do still have to prepare for work, which is gonna be annoying as well. And then I'm gonna have to try and fix my sleep schedule. <laughs> hey, I said, yeah, 18 hours. By far the longest stream I have done so far. Maybe I'll eventually gonna gonna get a 24 hour stream in, but we'll see. Well, thank you guys, for, thank you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And I'm gonna see you next time, or I guess Doctor and Isaac, I'm gonna see you probably Monday in put in stream. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>